It's a big night of high school sports in our community. The News 8 Highlight Zone starts now. Good evening, I'm Greg Wavernick. And I'm Charlie Clifford. It's the game that has decided the MVC champion the past two seasons. We just got back from it with probably two seconds to spare to get on air here. What a rivalry this Holman versus Logan game has become. Still plenty of season after tonight, but no doubt the winner again this year gains the inside track towards a season conference title. Second Holman drive of the game. Kyle Cable, 68 yards untouched. It's 7-0 Vikings. Next Logan possession, Tanner Holzer breaks a tackle. 40 yards to tie up the game and a beautiful sunset this evening mm. for all of our football games in the area. area. Ensuing kickoff, Seth Wilson deep for the Vikings and here goes Wilson. Three points total in last year's game. Yeah. We're only halfway through the first quarter. Three touchdowns already on the board between them. 13-7, Holman. And Holman adds more in the second. Austin Braun uncovered in the flat. 48 yards, 20-7. Holman would take a six point lead into the half third quarter, Zach Rusk. The start of a big second half for him. Holman up 27 to 14, but Logan is not going away tonight, folks. Fourth and four, Trey Davis to Jack Hinton. Big play. 27-21 ball game. But Rusk answers, breaks away. He goes for 117 yards on the night. And again, Holman's up by a pair of scores. Holds her next possession. In from two yards out. Back and forth. 34-28. This was some ball game. And two plays later, Woo! ball comes loose. Rangers recover down six. Setting up this fourth and goal from the two. Andy Metcalf with the sweep to the outside. <laughs> Touchdown. Extra point is good. Logan leads for the first time all night, 35-34. And one last chance for the Vikings, Michael Abraham. Interception seals it, 35-34. Logan, what a win. Andy, you guys haven't led all night. Fourth down and one, and it goes to you on the pitch outside. Talk about the play. Oh, man, those old linemen are just crazy. They're so good. They just blocked it perfectly to a tee. It was so good. Oh, I don't even know what to say right now. It was crazy. Woo! We're all catching our breath. Woo! On Alaska, also playing tonight, undefeated in MVC play, and will face both Holman and Logan in the coming weeks. So Hilltoppers tonight hosting Aquinas, third quarter, Blue Gold's fourth and short, and that's a turnover. Anna coming up with a the stop. They lead 30 to 20. Later in the quarter, back comes Aquinas, Isaiah Brown, four yards out. Two point conversion brings them within two to the fourth. Blue Gold's looking for the lead. Brown again, a yard out. 23 on answer for Aquinas. Wait on a second. They're up six and they hang on. 36 30. The final. Toma coming off back to back losses to Holman and Logan. Timberwolves on the road at Central after a Timberwolves fumble on the opening drive. Red Raiders take advantage. Matt Johnson, the score, 7 0 right there. Toma with the answer. Josh Pierdot finds a hole on the left side for the score. And we're all tied up at seven. Timberwolves defense getting it done tonight. Kyle Cronin with the pick here to the third force turnover of the quarter, and that's the difference. Toma, 35, Central, 20. West Salem looking to get back on the winning track this week. Playing host to Sparta, final minute of the first half. West Salem's Tim Schaff dropping back. He's going to heave the ball high. Mark Harris coming wow. down with the catch for the <laughs> touchdown. Panthers up 28-7. To the second half we go. Spartans looking to rally. Jarrett Sullivan, QB keeper, slipping his way into the end zone. They get within two touchdowns. West Salem holds on down the stretch. And the Panthers win tonight, 35-21. to Black River falls for the second straight week, taking on a state-ranked conference opponent. BRF and GET ranked 8th and 9th, respectively, in this week's WISSports.net coaches poll in Division 4. Let's check it out. The Tigers back at home after dropping last week's game in Arcadia. First quarter action, Jack Rue calling his own number, sneaks in from one yard out. Tigers up 7. GET trying to answer, and they do just that. Coach going into the playbook for this one. Halfback pass. That's how it's done. Extra point fails to so the Tigers with the 7-6 lead. Let's keep it going, but the Tigers answer back. Zach Zilmer takes the handoff in for the score. These two teams have been keeping it going all night long. You got it. Check out that final. 14-6 Tigers right there. The final BRF 43, GET 30. The number two team in Division 5, Arcadia over at Luther tonight. 
opening kickoff, and Arcadia wastes no time. The Raiders' Jim Hesley following a line Seen of this blockers makes some moves and starts the Raiders' night with a bang. 88 yards for the touchdown. First play of scrimmage for the Knights. Pass tipped. Defense quick to capitalize. Aaron Benson, 33-yard touchdown return. Raiders up 14-0, not even 30 seconds into the game. Arcadia rolls to a 63-3 victory. We wrap up tonight's Cooley schedule with a rivalry game between Viroqua and Westby. Blackhawks scored first with a short pass from Dalton Burnett to Max Dak. Yard out and jogging into the end zone. 6-0 lead halfway through the first quarter. Only a couple minutes later, though, Westby defense pinned Blackhawks. Cody Sloan down hard for a safety. 6-2, Barocco still with the lead. Blackhawks nearing on the keeper here with 14-2 in the second quarter with nine minutes remaining, but it would be all Westby from that point on. Westby wins it 41 to 14. Let's head out to Minnesota as the number one ranked Caledonia traveling to Winona Cotter. Fast start for the Warriors. First drive like of the game. game. We've seen it before. Mitchell Schmitz and he plows his way in just like that. 6-0 Caledonia. The defense getting into this one as well. Cotter the handoff. He's met by Ezekiel Ott and, and Cotter forced Ott's a good punt. player by the way. Yeah, next drive. Owen King, Tanner Gran, oh. the connection we talked about earlier this week. Those two guys are good also. The highlight tape continues, Greg. He goes all the way for the score. It's Caledonia in a big way tonight. Also, Winona taking it. Windhawks, don't check it now. 6-0 on the year. But Crescent falls to Rochester Lords. Rush Pete, Southland. Let's get you that score. Rush Pete sneaks it out and Spring Grove over Mabel Canton in a big way, followed by Houston over West Luther. Still six more stops to make, including a huge Dairy Lane Conference showdown. News 8 Highlight Zone will be right back. Welcome back to the News 8 Highlight Zone. Yeah, two of the final three Dairyland Unbeatens going up against one another tonight. 3-0 and Oliva Strom at 3-0 and Melrose Mendoro. Third quarter, and it's a 14-14 ball game. Sam Boone drops back to pass, looking deep downfield, but the pass picked off by Cade Conner. Conniferman. There we Howard. go. Cardinals unable to convert off of that turnover. To the fourth now, still tied ball game. Boone delivering a perfect ball this time to Andy Antoni for a touchdown. And the Mustangs are up 21 to 14. It all comes down to this play right here. Fourth down, Oliva Strum on the one yard line, needing a touchdown to tie it up. But the QB keeper oh, stopped by wow. the Mustangs. Check out the final, Melrose Mendora. A Woo. huge victory for them tonight, 21-14 the final. Whitehall, they remain perfect in conference play. They win it. 40 to 6. Cochrane Fountain City 2 and 1 in conference play. They host Blair Taylor tonight beginning in the second. Blair Taylor the handoff to Josh Nitek who scores from a tough few yards out. It's 14-8 Wildcats. Next offensive drive for BT. Trying to score again. Ball's loose in the end zone for a touchback. There's your ruling on that play. Big break for CFC and they capitalize. Tristan Schmitnick the deep pass. Oh, Check wow. out that air. Reed Williston, have a day, son. That's a touchdown in CFC. Ten better tonight than Blair Taylor. No final reported Indy Gilmanton and Lincoln. Well, it's shaping up like next week. Could feature a game of the season in the Scenic Buffs. Absolutely. The two final conference unbeatens, Bangor and Hillsboro, set to meet up. First things first, both teams can take care of business tonight. Check out what happens later. We're, we'll start here on the road at Royal with Bangor. First quarter. Action, Andrew Piskey off the handoff, 52 yards on touch for the touchdown. Cardinals up 7-0 early. Still in the first, more Bangor, this time to the air. Kellen Kravik to Sam Johnson, 14 zip. And they roll in this one, Bangor all big tonight. Bangor takes care of business. Hillsboro, they're at home taking on Cashton. We pick it up in the third quarter. Cashton's defense getting it done. Noah Flock jumping on the ball deep into Tiger territory, and they're holding on to a shutout at that point. Very next play, they capitalize on it. Cole Burnett on a counter play, takes the handoff 15 yards. Cashton with a 12-0 lead, upset City tonight. Wow. Cashton 
shutting out Hillsborough 19-0. More scenic bluffs. Brookwood defeats Nasita 25-12. And New Lisbon, a 6-0 winner in non-conference action. DeSoto in non-conference play this evening, hosting Port Edwards. 14-3 Port Edwards, leading in the fourth. And the pass right here, picked off by Austin Anderson. So could we have a ball game? Next drive for the that wide receiver after yeah, that catch. That kid on offense. Pirates capitalizing on the turnover. Jim Pawlowski here, DeSoto, down five, 14 to nine. Port Edwards goes three and out. The Pirates score again. This time, Jeff Alton, DeSoto, 14 unanswered Ooh. in the fourth to sneak it out tonight. What a game there. There you go. Wazika Steuben, Santa Coast, and a Weston team off to a 2-1 start in the Ridgeon Valley in the first quarter. Quarterback Ramsey Arneson finds Harrison Bolin in the end zone. Weston plus eight early. Next drive, Seneca Ramsey Arneson again. Dylan Keller this time. And that's wide open. That's easy as it gets for Keller. 14 zip late in the second quarter. Ramsey this time, Arneson, that Arneson to Keller matchup. <laughs> I've seen it so much, I lost my way. 20 to nothing at half, Weston, big winners tonight. More Ridge and Valley, Ithaca, they remain perfect on the year, 51 nothing winner. And North Crawford defeating Wanawak Center, 39 to 12. Also this evening, Pepinoma, they remain the number one team in Division 7 for a reason, 48-6 winner. Prairie Deschene beating Dodgeville, 35-28. And Boston, winner on the road, 31 to 26. Let's take another time out, more highlight zones still to come. Welcome back. Viterbo Volleyball's North Star Athletic Association, Association debut. Dale's presentation. Beox take game one to game two. Sierra Sco gets set up on the outside for a kill. Viterbo sweeping their conference opener 3 0. Welcome back to the News 8 Highlights on time for our play of the night. What a game this evening at Swanson Field across his north side. Andy Metcalf. Touchdown on fourth and goal with a minute 17 to play. Logan extra point, giving them the win, 35-34. What a thriller. We're out of time. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next Friday.